worship you, Jesus. For some more time, hallelujah, can we just look to the face of God? Can we tell him, Lord, your presence, it's heaven to me. There's nothing worth more. There's nothing that can satisfy me more than that. Yes, Lord, that's what we want, your presence. Nothing other than that, nothing more than that. Come on, start speaking in tongues for some more time. We're going to worship our Lord Jesus for a little more time. Hallelujah. We're going to say, Lord, your presence is heaven. That's all we want. Yes, Lord, your presence with us every day, every single moment of our lives. Let's just not be Sunday Christians. Hallelujah. This morning we are going to ask, Lord, we want your presence more and more and more and more, more, more in our lives. Yes, Father God. Oh, there's no one like you. We do not want anybody else like you, Father God. Father God, we want you, just you. We worship you, Lord Jesus. Come on, church, can you sing? We're singing, oh, Jesus, oh, Jesus, your presence is heaven to me, oh, Jesus, oh, Jesus, your presence is heaven to me. Come on, church. Sing it out, no, Jesus. Oh. 
This is your house, Holy Spirit. We welcome you. This is your house and your home. We welcome you, Lord, we welcome you. This is your house, your home. We welcome you today. This is your house, this is your house. Your home, we welcome you, Lord. We welcome you. This is your house, your home. We welcome you. Can we lift up our hands and sing that this is your house and this is your house, Jesus? Your home. We welcome you, Lord, we welcome you. This is, even those who are watching us online, come on, worship. Our home, we welcome you today. This is your house, this is your house, your home, we welcome you. Lord, we welcome you. This is your house, son of them to ribs and berry. Oh, we welcome you today. For the last time, this is your house, and this is your house, and your home. We welcome you, Lord, we welcome you. This is your house and your home. We welcome you today. Come on, give a good clap offering to Jesus. Open your mouth loud and praise Him, praise Him, praise Him, praise Him. Praise Him, praise Him. Give Him the glory, give Him the honor, give Him the praise. Holy Spirit, thank you for your beautiful presence in our midst. Thank you for this beautiful Sunday service, the third service of this day. We love you. We give you the glory, honor and praise. In Jesus' precious name we pray and we say Amen, Amen and Amen. Please be seated in God's presence. Good morning and welcome to yet another wonderful Sunday service that we are having in our church in Electronic City. I thank the Almighty God for the wonderful things that God is doing in our church. If you're happy to be part of the church with a smiling face, turn to a neighbor and say, I'm so blessed by Lord Jesus Christ. I want to welcome everyone, those who are watching us online, especially those who are on vacations, those who are watching us, our church members. If you could put in a comment, uh, just your name so that I can know, like grab a clarier. I know it's Brother C.B. Jacob watching. If you could put in a comment and where you're watching from, we'll be happy to know you as well. Last week was a great blessing in our ministry's life as God is accelerating North Indian missions. Turn to your neighbor and say, God is accelerating North Indian missions. It was in 2011 that I went to North India for the first time, preached in the villages. God gave me a burden to preach. And we have been continuously doing many things from 2014, especially when I came to full-time ministry, buying a van, traveling, 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 traveling. And these days I feel whatever seeds we have sown over the years, God is giving all the harvest back. Last week we were in a place called as Katra. Katra is on the footsteps of the very famous, well-known Vaishnava Devi temple where thousands of people are coming every day to seek and worship God. In fact, I was trying to understand how they go up. There's no car service. There's no road. And uh, most of the people are like, mommy of hands, kids, sister, I was telling them in the car, that age, they come at that age. How old are you, auntie, now? So about 60, they come, they walk 10 hours just to find their God. Jesus said to a woman in Samaria, 
days will come when people will stop worshiping gods on mountains people will worship god in spirit and truth because the holy spirit will come upon you what a blessed people are we and i was talking to a brahman person who got saved 5 years back he is one of the richest persons in katra i got give me an opportunity to go to his house and to pray and to share the gospel as well and so he was telling me pastor i was deep into all these things until i found out jesus the moment i found out jesus, as i understood how easy it is to be connected with the almighty god and to worship god in spirit and truth and so we had a fantastic time going to katra this is my second time that i went there first time i went in 2017 when no one knew me in katra i went to a church preached for one day and came back never knew that pastor's daughter will be one of the stars of our church and that's jerlin at that time jerlin did not know us nor did we know jerlin i just went preached in the church went to riyasi went to udampur preached and came back in 2015 617 i had my kids traveling with me they were just 2 years old at that time but i never knew the daughter of that pastor <clears throat> jerlin would come to our church 2018 grow in our church and uh, and and be a star for lord jesus christ i'm so happy because jerlin is carrying a baby now as a pastor when i look back as how god transforms children in my church i'm so happy to happy to be a pastor seeing the miracles what god can do in people's life how god can restore weddings how god can bring in the right matches god ordained weddings the church family standing together her father was keeping on saying one of the greatest blessings that jerlin has got is the church in bangalore continue praying for three of them now now we have one more person to pray uh two are preg- we have two babies now growing in the church you're not saying an amen, amen. come on say an amen please amen. it's god's creation no this is not enough this is not the way pentecostal fire people will respond what kind of a fire is this then? come on give a good clap offering to jesus and praise his name when babies are going to be born weddings are happening glorious and mighty things are happening and uh St- pastor stephen was telling me how blessed jobin is not our worship leader jobin is too young for a wedding but the jobin who got married to jerlin he preached there and it was fantastic so we went to that church after 6 years because i was invited this time it was not part of the mission trip uh two days it was fantastic to minister because i never felt a struggle in ministering which means it's open heavens so i was wondering here there are thousands of people coming to see god but god releases open heavens in that place and it was jam packed on the second day people were sitting on walls people were sitting outside the places on the roads and everywhere hundreds of people worshiping god they are not marthamite csi cni people they are dogras they are brahmans they are sharmas they are punjabis all kind of people are worshiping jesus this is revival i am telling you india is on a verge of a greatest revival if we stand together if we go and preach we will be partakers of that otherwise we will be only seers of the greatest revival what is happening and i felt very happy because god gave me an opportunity to preach in hindi for two continuous days because i felt uh, this year pastor santosh from rajasthan once he heard my hindi in bihar he said don't preach in english anymore in north indian villages just keep moving in hindi even if it goes wrong so god allowed me to preach continuously in hindi i spoke about the glory realm in hindi i couldn't believe that i am speaking about glory realm in hindi it was not a gospel message and the lord kept delivering people the power of god was manifested the moment we stood to pray demonic spirits were coming out it was so amazing it was so wonderful uh, that uh, it was a celebration right happening and uh, can you play the video of that pastor reporting how it was with the audio here if possible that's jerlin's father தெய்வம் நமக்கு ஒரு நல்ல ஒரு அவசரம் ஒரு பிரத்யேகம் பாஸ்டர் அனீஷ் சிஸ்டர் வேண்டி நாங்கள் பிரார்த்திக்கணும் பிரேஸ் தட்ஸ் தி மவுண்ட் யூ சீ தி லைட்ஸ் யூ சீ தி லைட்ஸ் டுவர்ட்ஸ் தி ஸ்டாப் தட்ஸ் தி பிக் மவுண்ட் இது வந்து ஒரு மீட்டிங் நம்ம நடத்தணும் பிரத்யேக விஷயம் என்னங்கில் என்ட வயசு 60 ஆகி பின்ன என்ட மினிஸ்ட்ரியில 32 இயர்ஸ் அதல வந்து 25 இயர்ஸ் நான் கட்ராயில தானே வந்து 
നമ്മുടെ മിനിസ്റ്റർ സെഞ്ചറി ഇന്ത്യ ട്വന്റി ഫിഫ്റ്റി ഇയർ പ്രൈസ് എല്ലാം അത് ആഘോഷിക്കുവാനും വേണ്ടിയും പിന്നെ എന്റെ അറുപത് വയസ്സ് അതിന് ഒരു ആഘോഷിക്കാൻ വേണ്ടിയും ഞാൻ പ്രത്യേകം പാസ്റ്റർ വിളിച്ച് രണ്ട് ദിവസം ഞങ്ങൾ ഗോറിയസ്ക്ക് വേണ്ടി ഇത് ഗോറിയസ് റിവൈവൽ ഞാൻ പാസ്റ്റോട് ഒന്നും പറഞ്ഞില്ല പക്ഷെ നോട്ടീസിൽ ഞാൻ അടിച്ചത് ഗോറിയസ് റിവൈവൽ ഫെസ്റ്റിവൽ അങ്ങനെ ഞങ്ങൾ വെച്ചത് രണ്ട് ദിവസത്തെ മീറ്റിംഗ് ദൈവം ശക്തമായി അനുഗ്രഹിച്ചു ഞങ്ങൾ പ്രാർത്ഥിച്ചത് അഞ്ഞൂറ് പേർക്ക് കൂടുതൽ ആൾക്കാർ വരണമെന്ന് പറഞ്ഞ് പ്രാർത്ഥിച്ചത് ഈ ദേശത്തിൽ അഞ്ഞൂറ് പേർ കൂടി വരുത് ഒരു ഭയങ്കര ഒരു ടഫാണ് പക്ഷെ ദൈവം ഞങ്ങളുടെ പ്രാർത്ഥന കേട്ട് അഞ്ഞൂറിക്കും കൂടുതലാണ് ആൾക്കൾ വന്ന് എല്ലാവരും ദൈവ അനുഗ്രഹം പ്രാപിച്ച് ഇപ്പൊ ഈ വണ്ടിയിലെ നമ്മുടെ ആൾക്കാരെ പോകുന്നുണ്ട് പോവാ സ്കൂട്ടിയിലോട്ട് പോവാ പിന്നെ അവിടെ എല്ലാവരും ആൾക്കാർ കുറെ ആൾക്കാർ പോയി പ്രത്യേകം നമ്മളെ ഓർത്തും ഈ മിനിസ്ട്രി ഓർത്ത് ഞങ്ങള് പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുന്നു I think the second day they had 700 people in Katra worshipping Jesus. I was wondering then how much more electronics it should have. At least 70,000 to balance the ratio. Lift up your hands and give glory to Jesus for what's happening in the nation of India. Oh Jesus, you are so beautiful. You are so wonderful. You are glorious in India. India belongs to you Lord Jesus. India belongs to you. India belongs to you. And then sings my soul, my savior. How great thou art. How great thou art. Then sings my How great thou art How great thou art <clears throat> And I didn't write much on the first day I had a terrible fall there After many years I fell down You know it's a village I was climbing down There's no car to go there you have to walk and as I was walking I kept my feet on right side and then the then the mud just went in because it was loose mud and for the first time I had some terrible fall three times I rolled like this and fell down to my amazement I actually felt my pant is torn my watch is broken because my iPad flew away from my hand my bible flew away from my hand my phone flew away but when I got up from that fall though my pant looked very shabby and muddy to my surprise there was not even a single bruise on my body because the bible says i have commanded my angels to keep your feet from falling and one of the reason is because my church is praying continuously for me grishma said grishma was right behind me she shouted loudly in pain because all this 14 years she has never seen me falling like that even i was feeling i didn't feel like my legs would break but i was sure that my pant would have torn you know bruises blood would have been start coming my watch would have been broken my phone is broken my ipad is broken but as to my surprise except my pant pant also was not torn only that with that mud i preached till because i wanted to tell the devil whatever you try to do it we will keep on marching forward we will keep on preaching we will see revival in the nation of india and on the last day we had this balamic experience you know this balamic experience of meeting donkeys so our media team will try to show a video if they have it i don't know whether they have it we met a donkey on our way back so balam met the donkey on the way <laughs> for ministry we met the donkey after coming back and that's a quite interesting video which can make you maybe smile or laugh we were walking it's a very narrow place and look who is coming <laughs> okay forget it anyway next time when you go get ready to meet some animals also on your way in the ministry thank you thank you so much for praying and uh, and my flight got cancelled so after two days of wonderful ministry the news that you get is flights cancelled what does the bible say 
Romans 8:28 everything works together for good for those who are loved and praised and loved and predestined by God the moment i heard it's cancel i said praise the lord glory be to god god has something more for me to do here and that gave me enough time to meet the pastor who hosted me first in jammu kashmir pastor raju vargis of the suvartha church when no one knew me in jammu kashmir in 2015 someone told him that a pastor from bangalore a malayali pastor is coming you want to host him he said yeah we will host him and at that time we were returning back from himachal pradesh tired you know totally broken in our bodies we wanted some kerala food to eat because it's been close to 30 days at least at that time we haven't eaten any kerala food and here we come and we get kappa and you know what else we want that came in there okay so i met pastor raju vogis got a chance to have breakfast with him pray together always remember people who have been a blessing in your life and i thank the almighty god that it was so wonderful and it was a great blessing to me that's pastor raju vogis who hosted me first in jammu kashmir his son blessan was part of our worship team he used to lead worship in bangalore in 2000 16 17 when rema was walking in just before rema was coming blessan was a worship leader he used to play the guitars and uh, be here and uh, his daughter in law and sister and i felt so happy going and visiting and then we went to the into park border it was an amazing experience uh, to go till that but normally they will leave you even after the gate but there was some some holiday or i don't know something they closed it and from there we are able to see the pakistan line but went there and prayed for the revival of two nations you know because as i was standing there i felt that pakistanis are definitely indians when that time of when jesus sent uh, thomas into this place we never had two countries we were just one country when uh, the bible writes in the book of esther we were not two countries we were one country the devil divides country that's the de- that's the way devil works so i stood there and prayed lord just as we are praying for a revival in our nation send a great revival to the nation of pakistan as well that many will see the true god and their eyes of understanding will be opened as well so that's the border that's the way you can actually walk into pakistan but they'll not allow you till there they'll allow you till the board that you are an indian and so it was a wonderful thing then we came back uh, flying it was a long flight from jammu to srinagar and on the way to srinagar i saw a wonderful scenery which i recorded and i have specially put it in all possible social media groups for everyone those who have a prophecy of going to a land where snow will fall <laughs> all those who have prophecies of going to countries where snow will fall lift up your hands please now no no aksa already got the oh. Oh lift up once again let me see all those beautiful faces take take uh, tickets and send them to srinagar straight away <laughs> so it is a wonderful thing so srinagar is the first time that i am getting a chance to go there many years back uh, we had an opportunity to go to srinagar cni church for a ministry but that day the jammu srinagar highway was blocked when our team was traveling at that time i couldn't go so this time at least i was able to fly go pray srinagar to delhi delhi to bangalore bangalore to cochin and then a fantastic meeting in cochin yeah that's it this is not switzerland this is the beautiful nation of india if you are clapping for jesus you have to clap more so all those who have prophecies of going into snow falling land this is your promised land come come to jammu and kashmir start churches preach jesus stand there for revival this is not switzerland this is india amen thank you media team okay let's go first peter chapter 4 and verse number 14 first peter 4 14 If you are reproached for the name of Christ blessed are you for the spirit of glory and of God rest upon you I want to focus on this long sentence spirit of glory and of God lift up your hands and say April is the month of the holy spirit Come on say that April is the month of the holy spirit So we have been thirsty about the holy spirit Today morning, Pastor Janish preached a very powerful message on the Holy Spirit. 
But I want the New Testament church to know that Holy Spirit is a spirit of glory. Lift up your hands and say, Holy Spirit is a spirit of glory. Once again, come on, say that Holy Spirit is a spirit of glory. Once again, say that Holy Spirit is a spirit of glory. Now, when I say Holy Spirit is a spirit of holiness, what do you understand? It releases holiness into your life. You agree with me? How many of you are feeling so holy, so different after being baptized with the Holy Spirit? Come on, lift up your hands, please. The other day, while we were in Trivandrum, I took my friends, I'm not friends, I took my team uh, to Lulu Mall in Trivandrum because we were free. I normally don't get time to take my team out, so I took Vinu Pastor, Justin, John, Grishma. We went to Lulu Mall for shop, small window shopping and to have some juice. So while we were climbing the stairs, there is this person called as Binish Kodieri standing. You know, if you are a Malayali, you would know Binish Kodieri is the son of a great politician. And I've shared many times in my testimony, Binish Kodieri was my junior in college. We used to start fights together because we were on the same plane. And it was a surprise that I was meeting him probably after 1999, which is how many years? 24 years. So I went and I spoke to him, though he did not recognize me. The moment I told my name, he was excited. And he said, what do you do now? I said, I'm a pastor. He was like, huh? Really? So he said, do you preach? I said, yeah, I preach. So is it available on YouTube? I said, yes, very much. Our media team is very strong. That the way that they are working and make, giving us blank screens now. So they are very strong. They are very powerful. Full anointed. Pentecostal fire. Everything is washed away now. <laughs> Jenny's priest and they are on fire now. So, <laughs> so he said, Really, you are there on YouTube? So he immediately took his phone. Tell me, how do I find out on YouTube? I said, type hope in Jesus. So he typed hope in Jesus and immediately ministries came. Click subscribed. He said, motivational messages are there? I said, you watch all my messages, you'll get peace. So a person who knew me when we were in college, gang fighting, all those kind of uh, bad sins in our life, when he met me, he is unable to believe that I am a pastor. Now, how did this happen? Lift up your hands and say, by the Holy Spirit. Come on, say that, by the Holy Spirit. The, when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, you will be a changed new person altogether. If there is no new change happening in you, then you really need to ask more of the Holy Spirit. That's what the Holy Spirit does. In the same way, when the Holy Spirit is equated to the spirit of glory, the spirit of glory glorifies God through your life, in your life and makes you a glory to others. You didn't hear me. You should understand the value of the Holy Spirit. Many people think, oh, if I am born again, oh, if I follow Jesus, everyone is going to look down on me. Everyone is going to put me on shame. Everyone is going to talk bad about me. But Peter says, the spirit of glory is resting upon you. Lift up your hands and say, it's resting upon you. Once again say, it's resting upon you. So basically, how many of you would say, Pastor, when I became born again, I had to go in a state of reproach. I had to go through a state of shame. I had to go through a state of disgrace in my life. How many of you would say that? Now, only few people lifted your hands. Can I tell you an ultimate truth now? If no one made these three things in your life, you are really not born again. If you are born again, you will be reproached. You will be put to disgrace. If, if you are saying, Pastor, I am so lucky that I have never been disgraced. I want to really see you today itself. Come to my room after this. Because you are not born again. If you are born again, People will reproach you. Disgrace will come. People will talk bad about you. Oh, look at them. They are speaking like some mad people. That's what happened in the first church. Peter stood up and said, these people are not drunk. They are not having wine. They are full of the Holy Spirit. So 
disgrace if it is coming you should believe and trust that the god of glory is resting upon my life and i want to tell you this month of april if you are walking for jesus if you are standing along with jesus your disgrace is going to go away the spirit of god is going to bring glory 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 upon you come on lift up your hands and say an amen matthew chapter 5 verse number 10 and verse number 11 and 12 Matthew chapter 5 verse number 10 11 and 12 bring the TBD translations please if possible blessed are you when they revile you and persecute you and say all kinds of evil against you falsely for my sake rejoice and be exceedingly glad for great is your reward in heaven for they persecuted the prophets also before you now uh, um how many of you like rewards Paytm rewards the other day i got a reward from manusen so the message came saying that click here you will get 1000 points because you are some exclusive member one click 1000 points that's 500 rupees i felt very happy everyone loves rewards now christians miss rewards you know how in paytm it will come rewards but if you don't scratch it at the right time you will never get to enjoy that reward that reward will be invalid in the same way christians the moment if someone starts talking bad about them either they will pull their head like the tortoise pulling their head into the shell or they will say hey i go to anish pastor's church that is true but i am not a really pentecostal christian so what's happening you are missing that great reward which is coming these are the words of jesus jesus said if anyone is put to shame because of you believing in me rejoice jump up and down because greater is the reward for you in heaven i'm telling you i'm telling you in jesus name if anyone has been put down in life because the spirit of glory is resting upon you god will manifest his glory in your life you should believe it you should believe it that god will take away the disgrace luke chapter 6 verse number 22 this is for all youngsters Luke chapter 6 verse number 22 and uh, the normal nkjv version is fine blessed are you when men hate you that's fine but the next word is good when they exclude you how many of you have been felt left out because you are a believer of lord jesus christ wow many of you now the reward now everyone rewards rewards i spoke about reward now everyone's hand is going up initially when i asked the question only few people's hand went up how many of you felt excluded from where did you get excluded nigel friends you know why they'll say hey he's a girl he does not know to drink he does not know to smoke he's always praying 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 he's not a man he does not have a spine all these words they will exclude you but you should know god's glory is resting upon you already so never be discouraged never be worried when you are an anointed person you are the most blessed person in this whole world even if people look down on you even if people talk bad about you don't worry about it because the bible says i like the verse number 23 rejoice in that day and leap for joy once again anyone who has been reproached for the son of man's sake rejoice and leap for joy yeah! Wow give a good clap offering to Jesus praise praise him hallelujah glory be to the almighty god our god is a god of season changes in your life today is sunday right on friday we had a very small prayer meeting in my brother's new home which uh, god gave me an opportunity to pray and dedicate <clears throat> only the pastors of our ministry were there because you know if you want to do something in trivandrum it's very difficult because the number of people who are part of our church are big so it, they can't accommodate you in an apartment there's no way that everyone will fit into an apartment only miraculously 250 people fitted into our apartment because of koshi brothers planning making everyone sit on table top and bed <laughs> and dedicating the apartment so while i was dedicating as jobin was leading the worship and we were singing and i was thanking the lord i remembered in 1999 when my father came to full time ministry one of my auntie she said to my father your children will beg on the streets because you are resigning your job 
and going to serve jesus in malayalam they said ninde makkal picha chatti edukum which means you will take up the plates of the beggar and uh, when i was dedicating i was thinking that never happened in our life in fact god's glory was manifested in every area every area god's glory was manifested what am i trying to tell you when you follow jesus when you are anointed people in the world may not like you the holy spirit takes us out of all reproach there are three words mainly in the bible used reproach shame disgrace reproach shame disgrace there are three words which are used in the bible for this state but in every state i want to give a pro- a word which touched me when i was writing this message about the new covenant church isaiah 54 verse number 4 isaiah 54 4 do not fear you will not be ashamed neither be disgraced you will not be put to shame for you will forget the shame of your youth and you will not remember the reproach of your widowhood anymore this is about the body of christ in the new covenant all of us had reproach and shame in our lives you agree with me but the bible says when you come to the lord when the anointing is coming upon the lord no more can reproach hold you no more can shame hold you because you will even forget the shame of your youth and reproach of your widowhood what is widowhood widowhood is not a state of being a widow for the church it's not that widowhood means there's no owner for your life when you found out jesus there is a new owner for you you don't belong to you anymore you belong to jesus i belong to jesus how many of you have this strong conviction that i belong to jesus pakka so will you feel orphan any type no you may be lonely which means you may be all alone sometimes you know we travel as a team there's lot of thing and suddenly you have to travel all alone but even at that point of time the spirit of glory is telling you you are not alone you are full of my glory you are full of my spirit because i am resting on you this strong conviction will never allow our minds to have the spirit of abandoned or abandonment in our life even after wedding even after get walking into a new job even after progressing in the ministry starting your own ministry some pastors when they start their own ministry they have the struggle and saying pastor there's no one with me but when the spirit of glory is resting upon you the bible is promising the older shame and disgrace will never come to you this morning i want to look at all of you and say if anyone has gone through shame in your life this month of april i am prophetically declaring it over you get the holy spirit more and you will never experience shame in your life come on get the holy spirit more and you will never experience shame in your life come on once again lift up your hands and say i will get the holy spirit and i will never 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 you know how did the lord call us isaiah 54:6 the lord has called you like a woman forsaken and grieved in the spirit you know what is the spirit grieving like a youthful wife when you were refused these are very painful things a woman forsaken is very painful that's why normally i tell when i come to know about some relationships sometimes it happens in the church one of the first advice that i give the boys is be very careful when you get into relationships because boys can easily come out of it girls can never come out of it they will carry that burden life long until the holy spirit touches them and so many times girls i tell you don't get into relationships because relationships are based on conditions they can very get into the relationship with jesus the problem is if you get into a relationship and if at all the relationship does not go forward then the brokenness which you will experience will be much more terrible than how you were prior to being in a relationship the best relationship and the permanent relationship that we can all enjoy is the beautiful jesus in our lives oh you're not saying an amen to it verse number 7 for a mere moment i have forsaken you 
but with great mercies i will gather you jesus says if you have felt forsaken today as we are going to pray he is going to gather you back he is going to gather you back for a little time there could have been a season where god allowed a reproach you know why so that you will understand the value of the spirit of glory sometimes god will allow certain things when reproach came into our family from 99 to 2002 we had all sorts of questions asking god god why though we served god though we are working for god why reproach in our family but that reproach which the lord allowed today when we look back the spirit of glory is resting upon our family so never worry never be disgraced never give up but the lord god will do something wonderful something new something glorious if you believe it lift up your hands and say and amen and amen and amen and amen the other word is shame the book of isaiah chapter 61 and verse number 7 isaiah 61 7 isaiah 61 7 instead of your shame you shall have double honor you see that when the spirit of glory is resting upon you see listen carefully pastors spirit of glory will never glorify you spirit of glory will always glorify the father through you by the holy spirit in the name of jesus always glory is going to whom the father but when the spirit of glory is upon you he will honor you you're not saying an amen to it god will honor you in 2023 if everyone has looked down on you if everyone has says oh he is of no use he is a waste he has to be put in dustbin there's no value in his life god says i will double honor you Oh, you're not saying an amen. I will double honor you. Spirit of glory will double honor you. How many of you say, Pastor, never have I been honored in my life. Whether it's my personal life, whether it's my family, whether it's my office, I have never been honored. Just lift up your hands, please. Those who say like that. Sister, I want to tell you in Jesus' name. You're walking into a new season where you will see Jesus double honoring your life. You know what is double honoring your life? Already you are honored. On top of it, you are again honored. God will do it in your life. Because it is His promise. I told you three words are the synonyms to this word in the Bible in Hebrew. Reproach, shame and what is the last word? Disgrace. So the spirit of glory is resting upon me. The spirit of glory will always glorify Jesus through my life. It will glorify the Father by the power of the Holy Spirit. but at the same time the bible promises god will honor us as well if you have been looked down if people are looking down on you because of your financial situations because of your educational qualifications and so on i want to share a testimony angel came and met me angel is our church member for at least uh, one and a half or two years she works as a staff nurse in kaveri in electronic city she was sharing a testimony because she is going to saudi arabia next month so probably this sunday was her last sunday but uh, before she goes she promised that she will come and meet me and go she was telling she was sitting there and crying and she was telling me pastor do you remember how i came into your cabin the first day i came i remember because she was from trivandrum my hometown so normally when someone says you're from my hometown immediately registers in my mind she had this issue of seizure she is a nurse a nurse having an issue of seizure is very tough she never believed in herself she never believed that god can help her as well so she is part of a csi church in trivandrum she used to attend the pentecostal churches in trivandrum but never she experienced the intimacy of god so she told me pastor when i came to our church one of the first things that i learned is the intimacy of lord jesus christ and she testifies she could literally feel jesus hugging her that's a special experience that's not a small thing the king of glory walking and hugging you is not a small thing at all and so then she said pastor when i came here multiple times every time you gave me only one word philippians 4:13 i can do everything through christ jesus who strengthens me and she said 
i wrote half of an entire notebook that words no that's a power that's a powerful way of doing it you speak the word word is creative and she kept on saying that for last one and a half years seizure didn't come if you if you're clapping for jesus you have to clap well god bless her as a staff nurse here and she herself is surprised that she got the king's hospital the government hospital she got a job she is surprised then clap please so when this came people said you are not fit to be a nurse you can't do it reproach came shame came but the spirit of god said i will manifest my glory to glorify the name of jesus also i will release double honor on that girl and i was really touched by her testimony so then she said pastor can i share one more testimony i said go ahead she said i used to share our church live links with my sister and my sister also was not so connected with god go we were traditional christians she started watching our videos she finished computer science engineering she did not get selected in the campus placements shame but god opened a way she wrote a test she cleared it she got a placement in cds salary is 45000 when the other product companies were giving 20 something she got a salary of 45 i'm telling you our god is a god who will release double honor <laughs> pastors you will have special honor only <laughs> god has to honor pastors god will do it because they have left everything and followed jesus your marriage is a way of god honoring you you will have a testimony yes or no Five years down the lane, when you stand on a pulpit, you will be saying, "The situation that I was, and the situation where I am now, married, having children, serving God, is God displaying double honor in my life." I can give you hundreds of testimonies, hundreds of testimonies. Look at Shanta's sister. You know, when I met Prakshit and Prestuti, they were in which class? Seventh or eighth? Fifth standard. that's smaller than my charisma that's when i met them for the first time when i baptized them they lost their father at a very young age everyone would have been looking down on them saying that oh these children will never be blessed because idol in the world without the father you can't be blessed and without the father boys can be anti social elements girls can get go off to the world because mothers can't control the children that's how god has prepared them they we need to have fathers strong fathers indeed to run the families that's why god has put fathers as the owners of the family but look where to air i actually was very scared of this boy i prayed like anything for him when he went to mangalore in jesus name not even a single time he went into any bad companies in mangalore if you want you clap please I was given a feedback from our pastors about Prestudi's worship the other day. The presence was moving mightily when this young girl was worshiping. Instead of shame, God made sure double honor, double children are honored. I am telling you my dear brothers and sisters, this is true because the spirit of glory is resting upon you. Holy Spirit, lift up your hands and say Holy Spirit. Come on say that once again Holy Spirit. Once again Holy Spirit. Once again Holy Spirit. The final word I spoke two words it's a long message which all words did I said? Shame I said and then I said reproach now it's time for disgrace. Okay. Disgrace let's see. The first time the word disgrace is written in Genesis chapter 34 and verse number 7. Genesis chapter 34 verse number 7 now please don't take it as a license to sin but understand the depth of god's mercies please he is a disgrace when there was a sexual immorality listen very carefully one of the things that the holy spirit does in people even if they have put their life in sin before coming to jesus and knowing jesus and even went for sexual immorality god is rich in mercy 
to bring you out of that and to release glory in your life please don't take it as a license and say pastor anish said even if i go for sexual immorality things will be fine no i'm not saying that before coming to jesus before being born again whatever kind of a sin you were indulged in the holy spirit is mighty enough to bring you out of it if you believe it you can say an amen i always say many most of our pastors used to drink before they got saved but today it's a blessing that when they minister people's drinking stops many testimonies are there in our church they come to our church for 2 3 weeks and in the fourth week they try for drinking they can't drink because the spirit of glory is upon them the spirit of glory god is rich in mercy god is wonderful god is in love if anyone is struggling in sexual sin sexual immorality wrong relationships i was speaking to a boy the other day and he was telling me pastor i really don't know how i got into it that's how things in the world work that's how the devil can trick you that's why paul says never allow the evil one to have a space in your life malayalam i like it pisajine idam kodukirathu ne idam means come here stand with shoulder to shoulder yeah like this so we have we, we should not give space to the devil It's little space he will come between us and jesus that's why we always have to be oh kartavai <laughs> you know right he came to beat me many years back at least now apologize <laughs> i didn't do it <laughs> i didn't do it the devil did it huh <laughs> no. you came in bike other another team you send another team no, i was there with you sir <laughs> <laughs> i have some good experiences in electronic city with all these youngsters that's why god gave me god made me a pastor in electronic city itself oh jesus never allow the evil one to have a space in our life but if at all you are here for the first time or you are here new the second service i especially want the new people to come in because i want to teach them more about jesus more about salvation if you are coming for the first time i want to tell you jesus is so lovable that he will forgive your sins but he does not want you to continue in sin i was speaking in the car also about how god delivers us from each sin jesus delivered a person having sickness for 38 years and he told him only one thing he didn't tell him go to the church he didn't tell him go to go and put offering he didn't tell him go and show to someone else he said only one thing sin no more don't sin any more i have forgiven you now i have washed you i have healed you my glory is upon you now don't sin any more the spirit of glory actually gives you the strength not to sin anymore because it always glorifies jesus now do you know the bible says that our body also is a channel of glorifying our lord first corinthians chapter 6 verse number 20 first corinthians chapter 6 verse number 20 first corinthians 6:20 for you were bought at a price therefore glorify god in your body and in your spirit which are god's very interesting words right two things number one glorify god in your body ideally pastors it should have come the other way glorify body god in your spirit so that your body will automatically but see in the holy spirit receiving terms that's the way the holy spirit gets communicated or fellowship first with our spirit but when it comes to glorifying god back it has to start with our body first and that's where the devil attacks the devil does not attack your spirit first the devil attacks and exposes your body to sin you agree with me how many of you have sinned in your spirit what do you understand by sinning in the spirit <laughs> sinning in spirit will come you know where when you're resisting the holy spirit when you're blaspheming that's the spirit realm sins and jesus said those sins can't be forgiven so that's there but most of our sin start with our body we say that we are separated and all of our friends are going to watch some movie so we also get this unknowingly thirst to go and watch a movie 
what are we created for we are created to see our glory of god sunday we will come and sing show us your glory glory and then next day when friends are going show us mohan lal friends i'm telling you we are more beautiful than any film actors in this world because the bible says so i'm not saying just like that the bible says paul says when you are born again you are recreated in the image of jesus about jesus you know what it says in malayalam it's so beautiful padinairangalil sundarane sharo ninrojaye padinairangalil sundarane sharo ninrojaye angi kyutulyanai in malayalam it says you are the beautiful among thousands ekuthulyanai padinairangal padinairangalil o sharonin e padinairangalil o sharonin padinair padinairangalil o e padinairangalil ൈബിൾസ് <laughs> film actors and celebrities take selfies with men of god or take selfies with jesus somehow we want to see jesus you pray if at all god gives you an opportunity to see jesus like how jesus was manifested to john wow <laughs> okay let's read luke 125 thus the lord has dealt with me in the days when he looked on me to take away my reproach among the people whose testimony is this you know this is the testimony of the mother of john the baptist elizabeth for long time she was not pregnant i want to tell you if anyone is waiting for a delayed miracle 2023 is the time of your miracle it will happen in your life if you can believe it this morning it will happen in your life your reproach will be gone because jesus will do a miracle in your life many times i have kept on saying about how god can give you children how god can deal with weddings even if you miss the timings i'm not saying or encouraging that you should miss the timing i always say girls definitely should be married before 25 no one is saying aim at everyone is looking down those who are not married see i'm looking at you only because we have a feeling that we need to be like a free bird and angel actually you become free when you get married there'll be someone else to take care of you otherwise you're always taking care of you some people say marriage is a trap marriage is not a trap because husband is not a rat to be caught <laughs> marriage is the greatest blessing of god and just because i said that don't go and start loving boys who oh, sometimes when i preach people take it practically faster and next week they'll come pastor you said last week that i should get married here is the girl don't take it like that god ordained wedding only should happen <sighs> children we have had multiple instances in our church where god did miracles chetan grew like an orphan pastor chetan who was standing with me His father died when he was 1 year his mother hit by people with sticks on her head she lost her mind everyone said you have no future what age were you married 31 he got married and 32 or 33 he became a father of two more is coming <laughs> so grishma the other day told me he is faster than you by age God restored his life. I got married at 27. But God restored his life. 
you know why because the bible says i will take away your disgrace i will do miracles in your life same is with pastor janish i was sharing pastor janish's testimony with someone whom i met when pastor janish came to uh, yeah pa- by the way jerlin's father is from aca church from your same church so i was telling from a pentecostal strong mega church where people were only white and white janish full of the holy spirit is coming and taking all wrong decisions where is his wife yeah one of the wrong decision that he took is that i want to be the next paul there is only one paul <laughs> we can be the next janish but not the same paul paul had a very special calling so he decided not to marry and now staying alone god says i didn't like i don't like i didn't say anish pastor didn't say god said god created all these beautiful things that god said anyone staying alone i don't like not you elderly people <laughs> so god said it is not better for man to be all alone i have to find a helpmate by god's grace god gave janish sangami <clears throat> and now a baby also is making noise in the church she is only scared of me she will smile at everyone she will never smile at me because she knows i am the headmaster of this place so in the service she'll do all the mischief and after that she'll come <laughs> crying mr kutu <laughs> how god bless them so good to see what about spiritual blessing after marriage his ministry changed his preaching changed because two are better than one that's why i'm telling everyone to get married never think that pastor is forcing all of us out of this church no because it is god's heart that you should be married god ordained weddings anyone any girl who is near to 25 lift up your hands please between 23 and 25 or plus 2 put 27 between 23 and 27 lift up your hands when can we get the invitation cards for your weddings why you pulled her hand down i am asking when can we get the invitation cards lift up your hands by faith and say very soon pastor come on say that declare it De- come on come on lift up your hands and declare it very soon P- say it say it as if you mean it very soon pastor come on say very soon any boys who are about 24 and uh, somewhere below 30 not married those who are married don't lift up lift up your hands and say very soon pastor come on say it no you're not saying it then i should check whether you have girlfriends <laughs> lift up your hands and say very soon pastor because your life will become so beautiful when you're married i'm telling you when you go for a god ordained wedding you will be so beautiful mummy you should pray for his wedding his baptism is over he's attending a good church now he needs a wife because the bible says isaac was comforted after he lost his mother sarah when rebecca walked in which means he can never enjoy fullness of comfort from god though he can be a believer until the marriage is done according to the bible no more reproach lift up your hands and say no more reproach come on once again no more reproach last words for today Are you all learning something? First Peter 4:14. Let's go back to the original verse. First 4, First Peter 4. Let's read 12, 13 and 14. Then only it will be complete. 12, 13, and 14. Beloved, do not think it strange concerning the fiery trial which is to try you as though something strange happened to you. Verse number 13. but rejoice to the extent that you are partaker of Christ's sufferings that when his glory is revealed you may also be glad with exceeding joy next verse if you are reproached for the name of Christ blessed are you for the spirit of glory and of God will rest upon you on their part he is blasphemed on your part he is glorified blasphemy which means talking anything against the holy spirit 
Paul had two issues. One, Paul had issues from people outside the church. Second, Paul had issues from within the church. A day will come when you all will become servants of God. No one is saying an amen. Either a pastor or a pastor's wife. No, no one is saying an amen to it. That is why you have come to our church. Because the promise on our church is, this is a factory which will produce servants of God. You can't go to a football factory and come out as a volleyball. You have, will have to come out only as a football only. Now, when you are servants of God, there could be trials in your life. Especially of reproach, shame, trust, all those issues. It could come from outside, which means unbelievers. Also, it can come from inside. I have seen many pastors broken down because they were able to bear everything from outside but not able to bear something from inside. But in two cases, I want to tell you, any servant of God or any person, if you are attacked, reproached, stand strong because that's the way to glorify the name of Jesus. On their part, it's blasphemy against the Holy Spirit. But on your part, you become a channel to glorify the name of Jesus. Many times in my ministry, I have experienced that. Especially in North India. <clears throat> 2014, 2016 in Gwalior, 2017, 2019, including arrest of our team. Many times we went through reproach. Sometimes we can even think up to such an extent, why are we taking all this pain Spending lakhs of money and doing this. Our team is, by the way, where is our team, mission team now? Which state is our mission team? Huh? Our mission team is in? Bihar. So, in Bihar, our mission team is finishing by 21st. Last day is 21st. And they're going to travel back. Just for the travel alone, how much they needed, they put in our group? 75,000. Just for traveling. Why are we spending so much when many of the villagers don't accept or receive our gospel? Because we know the more and more we keep doing it, the more and more the glory of Jesus will be manifested in our land. On their side is blasphemy against the Holy Spirit. But on our side, we become the channel to glorify the name of Jesus. If you are put down by your own family members, never be worried. Because you are becoming a channel to bring glory to Jesus. See, Practically, you should think it in this way. How many of pastors you have prayed and seen miracles through your ministry? What is the biggest miracle which happened through your ministry? Tell me, quickly tell me something. The big miracles which brought so much of glory to God. Children, people of children, you prayed. Okay, that's a big miracle. So pastors prayed and people who are not having children are getting pregnant. Is that a big miracle or not? Yeah. So is that bringing glory to God? And are you all happy for it? You're all happy because of two things. Number one, God's glory is coming. Miracle is happening. Number two, people will not say anything bad about you at that time. Now, imagine like, a, like, like, whom can, Brian. You know, who is the H2S pastor of Brian? Joji pastor tries to correct Brian. Brian fell in love with the girl. Let's, I mean, just imagining you're born again. You should not be. If I told you fall, I'll take the stick. Uh, <clears throat> put a CCTV on him also. So, imagine that, you know, uh, Pastor Joji goes and tells Brian, you're okay, right, taking your name? And uh, Brian, this is not good, this is not from the Lord, this is a sin, and he speaks to you. And But then still, you try to grow in that way, and he, you create a group in the English H2H, and you catch Joji Pastor on the way and beat him up. It can, it has happened in many churches. Youngsters have done it. It can happen. Now that's where Pastor Joji has to realize it is on the same magnitude that how God brought glory to his name when I prayed and people became pregnant. It's the same magnitude when I'm taking the reproach, the glory is still coming on to Lord Jesus Christ. If this you can believe, I'm telling you, your Christian life will be wonderful, beautiful, glorious. The Spirit of God will rest upon you. Come on, if you believe. Clap your hands and give glory to Jesus. Shall we stand up together for prayer in the name of Jesus? 
Oh, Holy Spirit, come, come. Holy Spirit, come, come. Holy Spirit, come, come. Invade our lives. Holy Spirit, sing that, please. Holy Spirit, oh, Holy Spirit. Invade our life. Let's sing that once again. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, oh. Desire is to have you close to openly dwell within the light to dwell to open up my heart and give my all to you. Your presence means everything to me. My one desire, my one desire is to have you close to openly dwell within. The light to dwell, to open up my heart and give my all to you. Your presence means everything to me. Holy Spirit, come, come. Holy Spirit, oh. Zebriante, Zabderi Adaram Satori Anade. Especially many youngsters are standing here. Listen, when you are born again, you can have only a spirit filled marriage. Many of the weddings which happen in our church. It was very tough to convince the parents that it has to be a Holy Spirit filled marriage. Including the wedding which is coming up of Blessing and Beulah. They asked many questions. Why? Why we can't do it in a CSI church? Why can't the pastors just come and take part in it? So people may not accept you or people may not welcome you everywhere. Because you might be the first generation person who is born again in your family. Second generation, it's easy. My father was born again, so obviously my wedding had to be in a born again way. But the first generation, it's not easy. When my father became born again, my grandfather said, I will not give you properties. I will not give you inheritance. You do not belong to us. All these kind of things will come. But stand firm. Stand firm and witness the glory of God in your life. Youngsters take strong decisions that once I am Holy Spirit filled, once I'm born again, I want to have God ordained spirit filled weddings, glory realm open weddings. It's not about how many people will turn up for the wedding. It's not about how much grand the wedding is. It'll all about be how much of God's presence is there in that wedding. Second, sometimes you could be a prayer warrior. You could be a man of prayer, a woman of prayer, and then the destruction happens in your life. Sickness, calamities, deaths, People may ask you a question. Oh, you are praying, 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 praying. What happened? There also humble yourself. At the right time, He will lift you up. At the right time, He will lift you up. He will manifest His glory. When I got the skin sickness in 2016, 15, 
many people made fun of me in fact i was much broken but then the lord started manifesting his glory through my life i was happy for two reasons because earlier in north india people used to call me baba because they think that i had some supernatural power and that has been released during the prayer time now when they look at me i am myself a weak person but the holy spirit in me is releasing miracles so the glory is directly going to god sometimes god allows certain things to break us down so that the entire glory goes to him and to him and to him alone come on clap your hands worship open your mouth and worship for a few minutes lebriam taram sekaturoba rem sentoroba seek and speak in tongues and worship and sing holy spirit holy spirit oh Ask for more of the Holy Spirit. Oh, Holy Spirit, come. Yeshua. Holy Spirit, come. Come in me in our life. Holy Spirit, yeah. Holy Spirit, come. 